I'm Christine Mwangi, the Director of Executive Education at the Strathmore Institute of Public Policy and Governance. I was also the faculty member representing uh, Strathmore Business School and the Bloomberg Media Initiative Africa. And I uh, designed and taught the public policy module, which was a key component of the Bloomberg uh, program, which was focusing on training mid-career journalists on policy issues, economics and finance issues, as well as accounting and capital markets, basically to empower journalists to have the right skills to report on activities happening in, in, the, in the country and on, on the continent and the region. Journalism is a calling. It's, it's almost like being a doctor or a nurse or being a teacher. It's, it's something that you feel very passionate about when you feel you want people to be empowered. It's almost activism, in, in, especially in the space of political journalism. You have to get, uh, you have to probably step on very many toes because the truth is sometimes very ugly. And, and you, you obviously are getting involved in many, uh, affecting very many interests. There's some people who like the status quo as it is. And it's very easy to support the status quo than it is to actually fight against it. So what I would say is that it's, it's, um, it takes a lot of dedication and passion and it takes a lot of commitment and it takes fearlessness. Of someone who's willing to go to the last mile to get that story to help people make better decisions and to make society a better place. A good journalist is, is a special member of society. It's someone who makes us feel safer because we know there's a, they have a watchdog role. They have an advocacy and watchdog role to make sure that things are being done correctly and that the, the public is not ex and unduly exposed to harm. So it is a, a role to make sure that society is behaving in the right way and correctly. I think uh, to some extent it's possible that why we want to shut down the media is because the media is perpetrating uh, bad politics sometimes. If that could be the case, it, it, it could be that you letting the media go on uh, speaking about certain issues is that they have proven that their approach is not balanced. They have proven that, that uh, they end up causing, throwing more fuel into the fire rather than uh, tempering down, uh, you know, temperatures or tempering down the situation. So uh, how we get to that is, I, it is, my prayer is that, and that's why we are so passionate about the, the Bloomberg program, is to get journalists to be critical thinkers, to be analytical, you know, to, to provide information that empowers a Kenyan, that lets a Kenyan know their role and that they can do something about a situation, that we're not uh, just passive bystanders and that uh, we are not helpless and that there's, there's not some, some big force outside there that's controlling the way we live our lives. The role of the media is to show us that we are actively, we should actively participate to challenge us, to actively participate in our government, in our government as a citizens and in our participation and our public participation as citizens. So sometimes when those decisions are taken you have to go back and ask but why would we want to do that? Is it because our media uh, is causing more problems and cause than generating solutions? And so if that were the case, if we we uh, have a culture of journalism where we re we, the journalists themselves prove themselves respectable in terms of their coverage, in terms of their reporting, unbiased, objective, and, inform and in or informative, real world researched pieces then that empower us to make decisions. Then we would actually want to hear what they have to say. We'd be looking forward to seeing uh, their reports. We'd be looking forward to seeing their perspective because it's informing us, it empowers us, it makes us make better decisions. I think what matters is balanced reporting and being sensitive to the possible implications. It could be true, but it could be uh, lethal, you know. But I think it's a, a journalist's duty to also present a balanced report that lets the reader decide for themselves and, and see clearly what the situation is. But it shouldn't be extremely partisan. As much as you want to tell the story, you also want to give a side of uh, a point of view or the other side, explaining why uh, those situations are the way they are now. What are the lapses, either in government, what are the lapses, either in in people making decisions, what has led to the situation that we are in right now, in a view to, with a view to creating a solution rather than creating a bigger problem. You don't want people to be running to the streets saying, based on this article, now we wanna, we want blood. You know, we want, we, we want to, we want to cause more damage. You know, it it causes more damage. So, it has to be balanced reporting that actually looks has the intention and the spirit of seeking a solution or creating a, a solution to a problem and providing a balanced perspective. That's how. You come up with a win-win situation where as much as you want to say that there's been a huge crisis or a problem but you also want to show 
that people are fallible, that there's a, there's a, there, there've been inefficiencies in the way uh, uh, governments are run, in the way that businesses are run, that there was a lapse in judgment, demonstrating that it, it is a problem that now has a solution or that can be solved. <laughs>